Isolation philosophy is very important to consider while preparing the piping and instrumentation diagram. Based on the isolation philosophy, we shall determine where to add valves, spectacle blinds, or removable spools. How to isolate different plants or equipment so that they are safe for maintenance. Applying proper isolation would lead to a plant that is easy to maintain. If the operator wants to go inside a vessel or dismantle a pump or remove an exchanger bundle or to get the unit out of service from the plant, then the equipment to be maintained should be totally isolated from the upstream system. Otherwise, if there is some leakage or valve passing or there is no proper isolation, then the operator may be exposed to the hazard of fluid release, which may lead to a great safety issue. Fluid release can happen due to valve or flange leakage or failure. This shall cause loss of containment, environmental impact due to fluid spillage, and may even affect the plant production, which means less profit. The risk of fluid release would be greater if we are dealing with a fluid that is under pressure, and if a great volume of the fluid is expected to be released, such as being in a large vessel, for example, or flowing in a pipe with a large size, and if the fluid is hazardous, maybe toxic or acidic or flammable, then this would be a safety issue, as this can lead to injuries or deaths or catastrophic accidents. Applying a proper isolation philosophy shall minimize the risk of getting the operating personnel exposed to hazardous fluids or opening and closing the valves by mistake. Now let's talk about preparing the operator to enter the vessel through the manhole. Here we need two things. We should first empty the vessel from liquid. Then we should ensure that the atmosphere inside the vessel is safe. So let's start with emptying the vessel. When we look at the vessel, we notice that there is a low or low low liquid level. Let's assume here it's 300 millimeters. Above this level is considered acceptable during operation. However, below this level, the outlet flow shall be stopped. Otherwise, it shall cause harm to the downstream process. So, when we want to drain the vessel, we can send the liquid volume above 300 millimeters to the downstream process. However, once the level reaches 300 millimeters, the shutdown action is triggered either by stopping the downstream pump or the shutdown valve or whatever the case. Now the liquid at level below, the low low liquid level, is still in the vessel. So in order to get rid of the remaining liquid, we shall add a drain connection at the lowest point in the vessel's liquid outlet. The drain line is connected to the vessel outlet line through a drain valve and a blind. As the drain system is at atmospheric pressure and is not used during normal operation, it should be totally isolated from the process line. Otherwise, this may cause a severe safety issue by introducing a pressurized system into the drain system. So, a spectacle blind would be needed in the closed position here to ensure positive isolation between process system and drain system. So, we can now open the valves and switch the position of the blinds. The drain liquid is sent by gravity to the closed drain system. Remember that the vessel is not pressurized now, so the available driving force is only gravity here in this case. That's why drain systems are commonly located underground. We shall talk about drain system in the next section. Here it should be noted that the valve and the spectacle blind are considered among the process pressurized system. So, we should consider the flange rating of the process system and then add a class break between both systems. So, if the rating of the process system is 300 for example and the flange rating of the drain system is 150, then we shall add 300 to 150 class break. Now, after the system is evacuated, we shall need to carry out steam purging activities to prepare the vessel to be open to atmosphere. Then, after evacuating the vessel, we shall carry out wash activities inside the vessel. This results in water accumulating in the system that we shall need to get rid of before getting the system back into operation. So, we need another system to deal with 
this water which is considered as oily water. So in this case, we have a connection to a segregated system which is the open drain system. It's expected to handle water with residual hydrocarbons under atmospheric pressure. It is usually a concrete sump underground as well in order to ensure the gravity flow of the drained fluid. So in order to drain the oily water, we can also open the valve, change the spectacle blind position and send the wash water into the open drain system.